Okay, woo, welcome. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> woo. Okay, we're going. Uh, let's continue this though, Alan Wake. We're, we're uh, close to the end, dude. We're close to the end. Uh, we gotta come up with a new plan and ask Estevez about the clicker, okay. We just looked through, through all our evidence and shit. Thor has uh, confirmed that things are as we thought they were. Um, you know anything Especially about yeah? Uh, can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. Hmm. Mm. Deduction available. As to us, the FPC identified the clicker as a paranatural item. They believe it has power. The clicker can fix this. But I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Clicker is still best option. Need Wake's help to write ending, change reality. The FPC is confident the clicker has power, but can that power help us or just scratch? Door. Rescuing Wake. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But, if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the <clears throat> clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. Hmm. The clicker can be used by anyone, so long as the holder believes in the power of the art's message. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. <clears throat> I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. No. We'll try using clicker at Cauldron Lake to pull Wake out of the dark place. Ah, my blood circulation, dude. <laughs> Ow. What's up with this sweater, yo? <clears throat> okay. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything for uh, good. That's all. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? <coughs> oh, we got a warning, dude. This is the beginning of the end game. To travel to Coldman Lake, you need to save your game first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue.
I'm fine with that because I'm gonna play this again one time or two or three. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows in the future, dude? Classic right there. Uh, I think we're gonna continue. Okay, we're doing it, dude. End game. I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? <coughs> I'll head to Cauldron Lake <clears throat> with the clicker. Scratch will try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Hmm. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Some passionate mu musicians, maybe? Gramps? Right, we're going, dude. We're doing it. It's happening right now. Is there any more ammo in this joint? <clears throat> hey, Alex. It'll be easier on you to ride with us. We'll have waterfront parking. I like the sound of that. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! <laughs> the tour bus is already loaded, and we said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road, just like the old times. Hey, man. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. A writer, a lake of darkness, bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. <laughs> I hope they've still got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who knows? If it's not one thing, it's the other. I think they've got the Coscula brothers locked up in there. Anybody saw them go in earlier? Who knows? If it's not one thing, it's the other. I think they've got the Coscula brothers locked up in there. I saw them go in earlier. Go home. Oh You're wet. Doesn't want to cross. Need help, Broski. Well, I guess he's safe. He's safe. He's not going into the road. <laughs> kind of funny. Everyone's so strange, they're just... Cheese! Why are they outside in this piss weather though? You may be right. Might have been a mistake to come here. I don't think it's coming back. I'm sorry. Hey. Do what we were signing up for. Uh. 
Point of interest, I know my car. Yeah! Emerson, yo. Yeah! I think it's fucking clean now, dude. Put down that fucking broom. You've been at it for a while, bro. Pumpkin. No longer possible, I kinda knew that. Look at this, we got a deputy with a pulse. That's awesome. Enough diddle daddle. What's up with this guy? Pick up, pick up. David, please pick up. David. David! It's me. Where have you- Stop. For once, you need to listen. You left me. You took my daughter away from me. And then you let her... She's dead because of you. And I don't ever want to hear your voice again. Stop calling me. It's getting worse. It's spreading. I'm running out of time. Are we sure that's the right? That's how it is. Hmm. Oh, so much shit we haven't done. Oh, 
have I not opened any of these cold stashes? Yeah. Do I have to go this way? That must be Torn Odin. <laughs> Maybe I should check in. Kiddo! We're almost at the gig! And Odin's run over four minions of darkness! <laughs> <laughs> the boss is our hammer! I'm driving with one hand! I need you to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? Almost! Odin's got a killer chorus! Come save your soul, awake new and whole. By name I will sum him him. Da 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 It's a dark ocean sum him him. What are they, are they up here? The, the boss went down here in like 150, right? They're not up here, right? No. Nope. I can't leave here yet. No, I know. Lots uh, of work left to do. They went down here. Just wanted to check, make sure. Maybe one of them fell off the bus. Bro, tree, tree! What tree? <laughs> There's no tree in the side! Who the fuck put the tree in the middle of the road? Drive carefully, Grandpa. Pedal to the metal, bro! Metal to the pedal! Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Very uh -huh. rock and roll way to drive. <laughs> Good old boys. Uh, uh, am I going the right way now? I have to follow the river. Oh, 
I don't really, I don't know if I want to use up all my ammo, dude. That I want. Too late. Six plus two. Fuck, I'm out of ammo. All of them. Six plus two. Another cult stash. Rock, rock, three. Are you bright enough? The timing on this, though, but I think I need this. The lights in the containment cell are good to go, Anderson. Great. A Torin Ode in there yet? <laughs> the two golden oldies? Oh, they're here. And they bought moonshine. I love them already. <laughs> They're a lot. You wanted to know what art we would use? Well, that's them. I'll be there soon. A creepy twig sculpture? Triangle figures made from twigs. Yeah, I didn't check the whole fucking area. What's the purpose? Marking territory, a warning, feels derivative, like something out of a horror movie. Right, so not necessary now, but... The dark presence feeds on artists and the artists they produce. <laughs> it's not just writing, music, blah blah blah, all kinds of art. We may, I, I kind of want to open that fucking... Wait. <laughs> rock, rock, three. Three plus two is five. Five, three, five, three, six. Fuck. 
play five six? Did I did I do that? I'm not bright enough. Uh -huh. Six, three, eight? No. Dude, I kind of need this. I think that's something you have to... Oh... Combine two of those numbers and... They, they are color coded. Maybe they need to be put together too, like six, so five, five, six, six, the number of the beast. No. No. Fuck, dude. I can't I can't deal with this right now I really need to though kind of uh. Okay, no. Actually, the screwdriver.
another rhyme. Oh. A mother crow sits in a nest. Calling a baby is doing a best. To protect our home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero brave of Hawk can keep the two apart. Or should the mother be in the... I got a crow doll, dude. Doesn't look right. No. Doesn't make sense. Oh. Dude, you know what? Fuck it. Another day, another way. Did I bring this? Or this? It's too slow, I haven't upgraded it. Yes, Miriam and Matt, thanks for the lovely hike, buddy. Lori and Bob, Cab, Mr. Loco. Camping do's and don't. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forests. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth the real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks, real hands held the knives, real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Oh Lord. Should we end it here and then make another one? I think so. Right, okay, again, thank you and bye. And I'll, we'll jump right back into it, dude. Bye.